Hey folks, what's going on? I plan to do two videos back to back today because I have a lot of reviews pending. So I am rushing sort of like like last two days or so. Uh, so I do apologize if you are being bothered or being annoyed by too many videos. You may unfollow me <laughs> if it's up. It's totally up to you, I understand. But uh, I actually have a lot of fragrances from a lot of brothers here in the community. And I have to finish the work and return the fragrances. So I have tested them enough. So today, uh, in the first episode, I'm going to do Alexandria fragrances. Uh, this is a sample sort of review and I have official samples from Alexandria, Brother Honey Hafiz's house. And again, once again, Opik Bhai, thank you so much for lending me these fragrances. I have two more fragrances to go. Uh, then I'll be done with your fragrances. And then I am pretty sure I'm going to get more fragrances for uh, you guys to check out, okay, from him. So basically, Alexandria fragrances, the fragrance sampler set that comes in this kind of boxes, official, the name of the house. And sampler set these are perfume extract and these are all inspired uh, inspiration expression or i don't know what you call them basically they clone of very expensive niche fragrances on most part or discontinued designer fragrances so these are uh, i think uh, basically pretty nice and i like the box even the sampler set is pretty nice inside it looks like that it comes in a plastic and then there is protection inside uh, if you are worried about the bottles or if you haven't seen any alexandria bottles they do look like this Kind of like a decan bottle, but I think I like them really nice uh, for, uh, you know, like for usability, they are pretty okay. These are 30 ml bottles, the name and everything, it would be the ingredients will be written on the side and the cap will look like long. The uh, atomizer is tall. So this is basically Hafiz 1984, which I reviewed before. And side by side, this is a, they also have 60 ml. Uh, this is how their bottles look basically, okay. So this is, this one is Gourmand Kiss, this is Fave Delicious clone. So these are not the one I'm going to review today, I already reviewed them, check them out. I did review, I think more than 20 Alexandria already and there are a lot of hits in there, those videos. I mean, there are a lot of uh, fragrances there, they got really good mark. So Alexandria basically, on most part, uh, they have very good performance, no issue with performance, but uh, I wouldn't say 100% of their fragrances are exact pinpoint clone. Some of them are a little bit synthetic in the opening, a little bit like, you know, not exact, sometimes it's like 65 so i picked up the best ones in my opinion so let's start and i have five samples today i'll go one by one i'll put the names below and i'll tell you which one is clone of what and if i really smell the original and then compare if i never smell the original i'll tell you how it is okay uh, so it's just my opinion no need to take it absolute go and uh, explore yourself and uh, these fragrances i think they are i don't know how many mls are these they come in this sort of a little container glass bottles and sprayer so pretty nice, pretty, very, very uh, good quality sprayers, I would say, no issue. And the names are written here and with the sticker. So I'm going to start with my least favorite in this list, and then I'm going to go to my most favorite. That's how we're going to do it. So the first one is called Aromatic Conflict. Okay, Aromatic Conflict. I'm sorry, my camera doesn't pick up these little details, but this is basically a clone of, uh, I think, wait, aromatic conflict wait i have to check i forgot <laughs> what this is clone of hold on yeah i sorry i forgot about that so this is basically a clone of uh, mr interlude man you saw me like last night or day, uh, day before that i reviewed a clone which is uh, at the back right here somewhere here this fragrance right here that was a clone it was like a killer oud and also have happened to have midnight oud those are clone of interlude i also happen to have interlude so this one right here uh from the first name i couldn't tell if this is a clone of interlude it's not really listed in uh, fragrantica but once you wear it you know once you give it a spray it slowly starts opening up and goes sort of smoky leathery kind of like dirty uh, this fragrance is not gonna be like everybody's cup of tea I'll tell you one thing if you do not like once again interlude this is not gonna be your cup of tea performance is pretty good just like any other Alexandria perfume oil is really really intense in this one but uh, if you ask me should I buy this full bottle or not for the first thing like i already have interlude so i may skip this but i already also have uh, the killer root and midnight root as clone so for me i do not need this so it's a good clone but on the opening it smells not as magical as interlude so it's kind of has this oily greasy opening which is kind of maybe it's the sample that smells like that maybe the full bottle will smell different but i did not like the opening that much so for me it's a pass so this is called aromatic conflict okay so that's my initial impression second one number two or rather say number four you know number five was that number four is uh, called monarch okay 
So Monarch basically, I think, is a clone of a Clive Christian fragrance. Wait. Yeah, it's a Clive Christian. I never tried that one, so I'm not going to lie to you that I know the original, how it smells. So I will just tell you based on the smell of this one. It's a X for men, Clive Christian. So those are supremely expensive fragrances. Can never afford it. <laughs> Sorry. I never going to try until I feel the rich. So basically, yeah, Alexandria Haniap is giving you the their version. When I sniff it, this fragrance reminds me of two fragrances, okay? Uh, like uh, one fragrance I used to have, uh, that fragrance, I have to pause the video and I'll let you know which name, which that one was. I think, no, wait, I don't need to. I know, Armaf Evoke. I reviewed it, I'll put the link below, you check it out. If you smell Armaf Evoke, this one, Monarch, smells very close to that, okay? It has the peppery, very strong, I think uh, it has notes like, I don't know what are the notes in there, it's like basically very green and uh, cinnamon, vanilla, so amber, cedar, and just pimento, like notes like that. Another fragrance it reminds me of is uh, Arm of Niche Black Onyx or Onyx Sweet. I'm sorry, I'm truly a little bit messed because I'm rushing, but I know this fragrance already. So I already used to own Arm of Black Onyx. That one also smells like this, but Arm of Black Onyx is uh, much prettier. It has a lot more cardamom. So if you like Armaf Evoke, if you find the fragrance somewhere, you can give it a try. Basically, almost similar juice. Both of them have very good longevity. It's nice. I like this fragrance, but it's not something I'm going to buy a full bottle of. So this one also passed for me. So this is called Monarch. Okay, the third one uh, in this series. Now, the three that I'm going to show you right here, they're all good. I might consider buying a full bottle. They're really, really good. And the first, I mean, the third one is called Brasilia Smoky. Okay, I'm sorry, someone, someone uh, down there at midnight honking at the gate. <laughs> sorry. So this is called Brasilia Smoky. So this is basically a smoky batch of Aventus clone. Okay, how good is this? Yeah, you guys want a smoky batch, isn't it? It smells very nice. It smells really, really pineapple, fruity, and very uplifting. It's very citrusy. It's a nice change of pace from the previous two. I did not like them that much. This is very good. This on the skin, I would like to try. Let me try it here. Just show you. This fragrance, I think it's it's pretty long lasting too. I mean, if you like Aventus, but you hate the performance and you want like a like really good clone of Aventus, there are tons of them out there. This is one of them, definitely. It's very uplifting. I can smell like a lemony sort of uh, leafy pineapple okay it has sort of like 50 50 mix so slowly it opens up the smokiness it's not that intense i mean i do not get that uh, birch sort of like a smoky feel from it but it's basically like a very like very fruity very zesty sort of a, a clone of aventus i think it's more like a fruity batch to me on the dry down it, it goes like you know you can smell a little bit like an apple you know something like it goes to similar Reaction as Elysium, but Elysium is a much better quality fragrance, even if you consider Sidra Boise and this similar quality. Uh, if you talk about Aventus versus this, if you are on a budget, you definitely should get this. This is going to be 60 ml for $55 or so, or 60, I'm not sure. Still, definitely better value. You know, you can you don't need so much sprays of it because it lasts a long time on your skin. So, yeah, this is a win for me. This is called Brasilia Smoky. Try this one. This one is win for me very nice uh, interpretation of Aventus very smooth number two okay second last one this is called uh, wasted moment and this fragrance if I tell you what this is an inspired expression of you guys gonna go and run and buy it uh, because you guys like by Killians right you guys like by Killian presentation you like their juice and they're conceptually they're so dark and they're like gothic as well as very creative you know you guys want that and I also like by Killian fragrances. I wish I own a full presentation bottle someday just for the bottle and the box. So this is a clone of Apple Brandy. I think that's the name of the fragrance. If I'm wrong, I'll put down the name. If you do like Apple Brandy, this is exactly what that smells like. Yeah, I know the smell of Apple Brandy. <laughs> this is intoxicating. You know, it's like apple cider vinegar sort of kick at first. It, it can come to you as a little bit uh, uh, pungent. You know, a little bit pungent like apple cider vinegar like you uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar the, uh, authentic one with that mother and you know like the what do you call the what is the word I'm trying to I'm looking for organic you know if you know organic apple brand apple cider vinegar because they're all product from apples right 
apple cider vinegar if you know uh, apple brandy this fragrance will definitely work for you it's so good I mean I haven't uh, smelled the bicalium one uh, but I'll tell you if that smells like better than this that's a must buy apple brandy by bicalium that's a must buy I always wanted to try it so this one right from the atomizer there's something uh, again plasticky about it that might put some people off but wear it on your skin give it like five ten minutes it's gonna go away and it's gonna be developed to be a very beautiful fragrance okay so if you do like Ale uh, apple brandy by uh, by Killian fragrances Alexandria's wasted moments definitely should try but it doesn't feel like wasted moments like you know like heartbreak or something like that it doesn't smell tragic it just smells very delicious and very boozy <laughs> wasted moments by Alexandria number one this fragrance is the best of the lot of this five in my book I mean I could, could have picked Aventus because I do love Aventus DNA a lot trust me a lot of Aventus uh, in my life from clones the real one a lot of memories uh, but this one beaten the clone of Aventus even the apple brandy one this is called Arabian horse I don't know if I reviewed it if I did any impression before I forgot sorry this is a clone of uh, perfumes de Marly I think Leighton and mix of Herod uh, why am I saying mix because it's supposedly a clone of Herod but I get the sweetness of Leighton if you mix Leighton and uh, the what do you call the Herod I do have Herod here I do own it but uh, Herod is basically very expensive okay and even Leighton is gonna be like $150 around that price range in Bangladesh even the cheapest so that is not really cheap this fragrance again 60 bucks so for the smell uh, I get beautiful sweetness from it it's uh, definitely I have another clone of Herod which I'll review soon if you guys want me to where did that go this is called autobiography supreme gold this is also a Herod clone I'll review this this is very inexpensive also cheaper than Alexandria definitely but this DNA if you like Herod and Leighton both this is a winner this is double winner I'm not just gonna say it's a winner it's a double winner it's just so sweet it's easy to get compliments it's long-lasting it, it Herod on me sometimes potty with the longevity you know it doesn't really last all the time like winter time I expect a lot more push but it's somewhere between transition between January and February that's where it works really really well but I cannot wear that everywhere because sometimes the sweetness can get overbearing this one like a take on that Herod mixed with the latent sometimes you feel that uh, feel of Carlisle I have Carlisle somewhere uh, even though it's just like a sample I also own Carlisle very good beautiful fragrance as well so if you love those fragrances this could be something that you want to look at this is called Arabian horse very beautiful fragrance check it out by Alexandria so those are the ones that I want to talk about time for the second video thanks very much for watching if you love Alexandria house even do our fragrances most of your fragrances are very very beautiful and good value for money all right uh, watch out for the second video tonight I'll uh, upload them side by side good night from Dhaka Bangladesh bye bye